Welcome back guys to TechPress. If you want to connect an actual domain from any server directly into Shopify, you are in the right place. So let's get started. First things first, let's open two tabs. Your first tab is going to be should call Shopify. Your second tab should be your actual server or the domain where you actually make the purchase. In this case, let's try Hostinger. So I'm going to hit into the domain section. And as you can see, here's a domain that I just purchased. So I'm going to hit into managed and I'm going to try to look out for the option that says DNS name servers. So if you are into Namecheap, into you are into GoDaddy, into um, Google or Squarespace, just try to focus into your domains and look out for your DNS info. You might be seeing that there's a lot of information like this. So once you are in here, let's just leave this like that and go back into Shopify. Inside Shopify, let's go into settings into the left pod and focus into the left pod of this actual sidebar. And now let's go and look out for domains. Now inside domains, let's look out for the option that says connect an existing domain. So there's two options. You can connect an existing domain here or to choose to buy a new domain just in case you haven't purchased anything yet. Let's go into connect an existing domain. Now in here, what I want to do is to copy this actual URL, my desired URL that I just purchased, of course, the domain that I purchased, and I'm going to paste that here into this domain. Now, connecting your domain, follow the instructions to change your provider account settings. So if you choose the option that says follow setting instructions, it's going to be sending you directly into an actual block where you have a lot of information here. So you just wanted to focus into the value that you wanted to add here. So you don't want to focus inside this help center. I'm going to close this. And to get the right instructions, let's get into verify connection. Now, of course, it's not going to work, but it's going to be showing us the required values that we need to add into our actual domain purchased. So as you see back here, when we saw there's a lot of types, name, priority things, we wanted to get started with a new record. So as you can see into the upper side, here's the section where I can add a new record. So let's add it right here. I need to have a type name and points too. If I go back into Shopify, you can see that here's my name, the IP and the required. So I'm going to add a record add and this required value. So let's go here, a add and I'm going to paste it. So after that, I'm going to hit into add record. And you might see that there's actually added automatically in here. Here we go. And the second one should be, I'm going to go back, C name, triple W and required value shops, my Shopify.com. I'm going to do exactly the same thing here. So instead of A, let's go for C name, name, triple W and target was this one. After you hit into add record, you want to make sure that this one appears in here. Just in case you type add record, and appears something like there's not valid or any conflict though, you want to make sure that you don't have a previous record with exactly the same name and the type here. In this case, we already have this one. So you needed to delete this so you can add a new record. So once you have done this, try it again. And now I'm going to go back and I'm going to hit into verify connection. And just like that, here is my domain from the actual hosting add it directly in here. So that means that if I hit into view or I'm just going to copy my domain, I'm going to paste it in here. You can see that this one sends us directly into Shopify. In this case, of course, we haven't designed our actual website, but here we are now into the upper side. And just to make sure that I'm going to go back that this is the actual URL provided by Shopify. If you copy this one and paste it into a new tab, you might be seeing that this one automatically will be redirecting it into the domain that you purchased it from another device or section. So as you can see, guys, it wasn't that hot. Just in case you have any questions, you can leave it down below in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. If you want to see more great posts for Shopify, don't forget to like and subscribe. And hopefully, guys, we're going to all see you next time. See you soon.